Hey, welcome back. Van here, and in this video, we're going to be showing you this Sonic Bark Control device. I previously had one of these, and it worked great. My brother came up from Florida, and just, just real quick, my brother came up from Florida, and I was telling him about it, and he's like, oh, I'm going to have to buy one. I said, well, just go ahead and take this one because my dogs don't bark anymore. But you know what? As soon as that was gone, my dogs knew it, and they went back to barking again. Well, I went back on Amazon and I bought this and I've used it. Here's a couple clips from before that this unit was turned on. Now here's the clip of the unit actually working with my dogs. Who is it, Emmett? Somebody at the door? Well, I guess the shallow bark's better than a loud bark. Who is it? So let's just get back into this. Let's open this up. This is an outdoor unit. But the book says that with level setting of one, see the settings on there? To do it, you just turn this little dial right here and there's a setting of three, two, one, and test. When the unit is within range of a barking dog, an internal microphone picks up the sound and the unit is automatically turned on. One thing I don't like about this is this light right here. That light is so bright. It actually, in the dark room, will light up the house. So you see it's turning red and it's blinking. That's showing that it's working because so startled by the high-pitched sound that is safe and effective, the dog should stop barking as it associates the sound with, you know, something that irritates. And when the dog stops barking, that's when the ultrasonic sound will stop. So to use this, you'll open up the back compartment, you'll flip out this right here, you'll plug in a nine volt battery, just like that. There's only one way it can go in and plug up. You can't, can't plug that up wrong. You'll hook this back back in here, or bottom, and clip it back in place. So if you've got a good battery, you know I was telling you this thing will flash periodically like whatever. So every five seconds, if it flashes, that means you've got a good battery if it flashes green. A low battery equals every three seconds it'll flash. If there's no flashing, then you need to replace your battery. So to make your battery last longer, it says if it's turned on all the time, that it will last two months. But to make it last longer, you'll turn it off when you're not going to use it, like at night. Let's say you the dog sleep with you in bed at night, you don't need to use it, turn it off. There's certain times during the day when you're not worried about the dogs barking, you turn it off. Like when you go away, like when I go away, I'm gonna turn it on. That way my dogs aren't barking at Barry next door. They're not barking at the squirrel moving across the yard. This is a great device. I wish that it didn't have that light that lit up like it does. It also comes with a strap. The strap, if you're gonna hang this up from a tree limb or whatever, you'll feed it through the hole here on the top and loop it through, which I'm not gonna do. I'd have to get my reading glasses out to be able to see to do it. <laughs> but anyway, that's the way you, that's what that, things for it you'll hang it from a tree or whatever uh, a great thing this is a great device that it don't matter which one you buy i don't believe look on amazon there'll be a link in the video description down below but let me tell you about the settings and what they're used for you want to set the setting on low or one for 15 feet radius two a 30 feet radius and three is a 50 foot radius so if you got a big place and you want to keep your dogs from barking at 50 foot you want to put it on number three so we're going to test this we're going to put it on test which is the first click that you come to you hold it at arm lengths away and you'll say wolf 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 it works so this unit is waterproof to clean it you'll, you'll use a damp cloth and just wipe it off but you don't want to submerge this because 
if water gets inside the microphone, it could cause a disturbance. If you're using this in the house, which what I'm gonna be do, using it for is in the house, you don't, you probably don't need to do nothing but dust it off every once in a while. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it informative. Be sure to check out the video description down below. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. My channel is all about saving people time and money with my how-tos and product reviews. This is a product that I like. I'm not sponsored by them. I paid for this with my own money. There will be a link in the video description down below. Go check it out. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching and you come back. You. Who is it, Emmett? Somebody at the door? Somebody outside. Who is it? He's a booger. Who is it? Well, I guess a shallow bark's better than a loud bark. Who is it? That one he gave Victor, that one. Oh, part of that one.